Hello everyone, we're here at KubeCon Barcelona with Matt Moore. Matt is one of the co-founders of Knative, as well as GCR, the Google Container Registry. Matt, let's talk about GCR uh, in the early days. Where did it start? So as uh, around the same time that Kubernetes was starting up and Google was looking at um, Docker, which was popularizing containers, um, it, it became pretty clear that uh, if we launched a container service, we were going to need a way for our customers to have a really good integrated experience to ship their container images to that service, right? And so uh, a few of us started to motivate and build that team, and we were tracking the, the Project 7 and then Kubernetes uh, work very closely because, uh, you know, we, be we believed it was going to be a big deal. It's kind of hard to imagine it would become this big a deal, but... Uh, but yeah, like we we were we were in on the Kool Aid pretty early, and uh, um, yeah, it's it's been amazing to see uh, GCR and Kubernetes well beyond that uh, just become incredibly successful. Yeah, it is amazing, and now you're involved with a new project, Knative. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about that? Sure. So um, so GCR sort of led me to doing a whole bunch of stuff with container tools, and I've been working with uh, VLA and. Uh, at, our boss Tomas uh, for many years in the container space, uh, and um, a couple of years ago, well, a year and a half to two years ago now, uh, we we had this sprint where we we wanted to look at what it would be like to build sort of serverless on uh, Kubernetes, and there was some early prototyping and, and then a sprint that ultimately led to us deciding, yeah, well, we're we're going to do this, we're going to do this thing, and. Uh, uh, that ultimately became Knative. Cool. So, what are some of the biggest challenges uh, that Knative deals with? So, you know, they're they're the three main areas: build, um, serving, and eventing. Um, I think uh, there are a lot of things that uh, were really hard problems a couple of years ago. I think in the build space, some of the stuff that's happened in the build working group, right? Build on cluster builds are seem much more tractable now than they did a year ago. Uh, in serving, um, you know, uh, uh, scaling as rapidly as a lot of people expect from serverless, cold starts, things like that, uh, is still a really hard problem. And it's going to be one of those things that zero, zero millisecond startups aren't going to be fast enough for some people, right? So, uh, so it's going to be one of these things that we're going to have to invest in forever, just like Kubernetes on scale, right? Uh, uh, and then eventing, right? Like there, there are going to be there's going to be an endless source of sources where people are going to want to be like, when that happens, you know, I want to do something, right? And so, um, yeah. So it's it, there are these interesting and huge problems, and then even just you know, organizationally, how are we going to manage the complexity of all of these things over time? So uh, a lot of interesting challenges. Cool. So what is uh, the current status of the Knative project and what are the features that you're excited about? Uh, so we just cut 0.6, uh, I think, last Tuesday. Um, there, it is my favorite release so far. Um, we uh, launched uh, sort of the beginnings of our beta API there, um, and we hope that that will be a near final API shape that we can take through to V1. And uh, a bunch of other really cool features launched like auto TLS and some other things that uh, allow you to get, you know, a really good uh, experience all the way through to a TLS terminated URL um, with little to no work on the developer side uh, once an operator has sort of set things up for you sort of looking at uh, that core of functionality that we've been really iterating on so far, we want to get that to GA, um, and then we can start to look at iterating on improving some of the stuff around scale, performance, um, as well as uh, starting to get into the rhythm of uh, sort of feature track releases for new stuff, right? There's always new stuff, so. Now you have a managed version by Google called Cloud Run of Knative. Why a managed solution? So, you know, I, as with Kubernetes and Istio, right, like uh, get it, getting things set up just right isn't always the easiest thing in the world, right? I think, you know, Kelsey has a great uh, Kubernetes the hard way, right? We, we, thankfully, it's not that hard because Kubernetes done a lot to get that set up. But, you know, uh, you know, I mentioned DNS and TLS, right? Getting that set up just right on the cluster is pretty hard and, um, you know, uh, we, we want the managed service to make that the out-of-box experience uh, really easy. Um, 
uh, so that you can focus on the things that you actually want to focus on uh, and not the, you know, the boring stuff, right? That's, we want to solve the boring stuff for you. Nice. So let folks focus on the problems that they care about rather than the infrastructure. That's awesome. So last question. We're here at KubeCon. This is the biggest KubeCon so far. What are you excited about uh, seeing this week? Uh, I think the most surreal thing has been like, you know, you walk around and when you hear people talking about this project that you've helped start uh, and they don't realize you're there and it's like, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Um, and seeing product announcements like uh, the, the Rancher announcement, uh, I think yesterday or today, uh, uh, where they're launching things based on Knative that, uh, you know, you didn't even know about it. It's good. great. Uh, it's really cool to see those things. Um, but uh, honestly, uh, one of my favorite things to do here is to talk to all of the vendors that are here at the booths and, you know, see what they're doing and find ways to collaborate and help build the community. Um, that's definitely one of my favorite things to do. Uh, and connect with contributors who I feel like I know really, really well, but I'm meeting for the first time in person. Uh, there's a few of them uh, that I'm, I've just met for the first time this week. and. Uh, yeah, it's, they're great people and I, I, I love working with them. Thank you so much for your time.